Hey, welcome back to Real Food Blog. Um, I'm excited about this episode to show you how to do dinner rolls. Um, now, we're running out of bread, and um, I was thinking of something to do with our roasted uh, chicken tonight, so I want to do some rolls, and um, so I looked up a Betty Crocker recipe, actually. Okay, so this is pretty standard. You can check it out on BettyCrocker.com, or you can, um, I don't know if there's a roll recipe on our blog, but I don't think there is, but Basically, it is two cups uh, of flour that you're starting with. You add another whole cup, so a total of three cups will be will be in this. Quarter cup of vegetable uh, shortening, okay? Um, and then you're going to use um, a half a cup of uh, water, a half a cup of milk, and you want it to be about 120 to 130 degrees. So this is 120 degrees right now. And then one egg. So that's pr And there's some salt in there. A teaspoon of salt and a packet of yeast and um, a quarter cup of sugar. That's all that's in this. Okay, so let's get started with the process. We've got the shortening, the flour, the yeast, all the dry, the salt, all the dried ingredients in there right now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the egg to this the wet ingredients. Okay, and then we're going to add in these wet ingredients and mix it on low for about a minute okay and then we'll see what the next step is right here on real food blog okay hey welcome back to real food blog now that i've rolled this out needed this dough for at least five minutes okay literally five minutes it's nice and smooth okay it pulls up, it bounces back when you touch it okay which is key so now what i'm going to do is take some vegetable oil or some olive oil or some pan cooking spray or whatever you got okay and I'm gonna coat a bowl I'm gonna turn it out and then flip it just so that it gets coated on both sides okay and then I'm gonna cover it with some plastic wrap and I'm gonna let this rise for an hour okay and then like I said, I'm going to divide it out, make it out into 24 approximately dinner rolls, then butter those, on, or put them on a baking sheet, butter them, cover them, let them rise one more, one more time for 30 minutes. And then I told you wrong, you bake them at 400, but you bake them for 13 to 18 minutes, not 8 to 12, or not 8 to 11, okay? So that's just an update on that. We're going to let these rise in somewhere warm, my microwave. Easy, pretty warm all the time. Okay, so let them rise and then we'll show you the next step right here on Real Food Blog. Okay, hey, welcome back to Real Food Blog. Now the dough has doubled. Okay, it has risen. So we need to put it on a floured surface, punch it down, get all the air out of it, put it on a floured surface. Okay, we're going to break it up into 24 portions. So we're going to cut it in half, and then cut that half in half, take the other cut in half, so forth. So basically getting enough where we get approximately two dozen. I'm not sure how close I'm going to get there to that. We can take this journey together here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17. All right, I'm getting 19 out of this, okay? So take them, put them in round uh, baking pan, okay? Cake pan. And what we're going to do is we're going to put them in here. And then we're going to coat them with a little bit of melted butter. And we're going to let them rise and then for about 30 minutes and then we're going to bake them at 400 for about 12 to 18 minutes okay so I'm just putting them in here a couple inches apart from each other okay about an inch apart from each other just because they're going to end up uh, rising okay as they sit in the oven or wherever you're going to put them. Let them rise in a, in a draft-free 
area that's pretty warm. Okay, so maybe an oven that's been turned off for a while. I luckily have a microwave that stays hot because it's got lights under it, so it stays hot. So basically, okay, do this up. So you can see, we got them in there. Okay, now we're going to butter them. We're going to cover them, okay, and then let them rise for 30 minutes, like I said. Bake them off at 400 degrees for about 12 to 18 minutes. Okay, they'll be delicious. They'll be big. They'll be pull apart bread, you know. Delicious dinner rolls right here on Real Food Blog. Thank you for joining us from our family to yours. We'll see you next time right here on Real Food Blog.